In this video tutorial, you will learn how to move your WordPress site from HTTP to HTTPS. You may have noticed that most websites no longer run on HTTP. The majority have migrated to HTTPS. It may be a good idea for you to also redirect HTTP to HTTPS for your WordPress website. One major reason for this exodus in Google's dislike for HTTP is in July 2018. Google came up with a new development, all HTTP websites were marked not secured. Any site with such marking will surely discourage visitors. Even worse, they barely show up in search results. Needless to say, if you are about to launch your website, it is best you integrate HTTPS into it. But if your WordPress website is already running on HTTP, you can migrate it to HTTPS quite easily. In this video, we will show you steps to migrate WordPress from HTTP to HTTPS. Before we proceed, first make sure that your hosting company didn't assign an SSL certificate to your website. Because sometimes you do have an SSL certificate provided by the hosting company, it's just not configured properly. The way to check if you have an SSL certificate is to put HTTPS at the beginning of your domain. Let me show you. Let's put HTTPS and then hit enter. After doing this and you get a lock icon, you do have a certificate. Now you'll have to contact your web host to assist you on how to configure your website so that you can utilize the SSL certificate provided to you by your web host. But if after you do this and you still don't get a certificate, then continue watching and I will show you steps on how to get an SSL certificate and have your website be redirected from HTTP to HTTPS. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you. Number 1. Get an SSL certificate. Open your browser and go to www.sslforfree.com. On the home page, put in your website's URL and click Create Free SSL Certificate. Next, you will be asked to sign up, so go ahead and sign up. Put your email and chosen password, then hit register. Now under domain, just click the button, next step. Under validity, choose 90-day certificate, then click next step. Under CSR and contact, just click next step. Finally, under finalize your order, choose the free plan, then click next step. We're going to verify our domain. We have three options to verify our domain, but I'm going to choose uh, the email verification to verify my domain. On this drop down, you need to choose one of these emails. None of these emails exist. Uh, whichever email we will be selected in this drop down will then need to create an email forwarder account inside our cPanel for that email. So, for example, I'm going to select the admin at shopdemo4.fixrunnertest.com. So in cPanel, we're going to create an email forwarder for this that will forward all emails sent here to our chosen email address that we want emails to this to be forwarded to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our cPanel. On your cPanel, scroll down and look for the email section. Click the email forwarders. Click add forwarder. And then we're going to create the email address, which is this one, admin at shopdemo4.fixrunnertest.com. Just type in admin and then choose the domain or subdomain that you're working on. And then you're going to paste the Gmail email address that you want all the emails to be forwarded to. All right. So once you pasted that, click add forwarder. All right, so we're actually done. All right, so the email forwarder account for admin at shopdemo4.fixrunnertest.com has now been created. Every email being sent here will be forwarded to our Gmail, which is the shopdemo4fixrunner at gmail.com. And the reason why we need to do this is once the verification email is sent to admin at shopdemo, we will get it in our Gmail. So let's go back to our free SSL site. Click next step. Now click verify domains. Once you click that, an email verification will be sent to your 
Gmail. All right, so let's go to our Gmail and hit refresh. All right, so the email verification is not here yet. So we just need uh, to wait a few minutes. Sometimes it takes a, uh, just a few minutes. All right, so we've received the email verification. So let's open this email. Copy the verification key. And then click go to verification page. Paste the verification key in this box. And then hit next. All right, so we're done. Now you will receive an email notification that you have successfully verified your domain. So let's go back to our Gmail. All right. So what we're going to do now is to download the SSL installation certificate. Now let's go back to the free SSL site and click refresh status and then click install certificate. Now we're going to download the certificate right here. Click that. Okay, so I've downloaded the certificate, which we will upload in our in the cPanel. Let me just uh, go uh, transfer this to the right folder. All right, so let's uh, unzip this. Double click on the folder. Here are the files that we're going to upload in cPanel. Let's go back to the free SSL site. Hit next step. Here are the instructions to upload the files. But I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on cPanel. So let's go to our cPanel. Click the home button. Scroll down and look for the security section. Click SSL TLS. Click Manage SSL Sites. Scroll down and look for your domain or subdomain. Here it is. On the far right side, click on Update Certificate. Here is where you're going to paste the code from each file. Let's first get the code for CRT and paste it here. Right click and open it in your text editor. Select All and Copy. Paste it here. Then repeat the same process for private key and TA bundle. Once you're done, scroll down and click on install certificate. All right, we have installed our SSL certificate. Click OK. Now let's go back to the free SSL site. Click Check Installation to check if it was successful. All right, so it is successful. All right, so number two is to migrate WordPress to HTTPS. On your WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins. Then click Add New Plugins. We are going to search for the plugin called Really Simple SSL. This is the plugin we are looking for. Hit install. Then hit activate. Once activated, you'll be redirected here. Go to settings, SSL. Then go ahead and click go ahead activate SSL. Once you click that, the plugin will force HTTPS on the entire pages of your website. It will also handle mixed content errors that may arise due to the migration. If migrating your WordPress website with a plugin proves difficult, go to the manual route. Go to Settings, General, in the WordPress address URL and Site address URL area, replace HTTP with HTTPS. Mine is already on HTTPS, so I don't need to do that. Alright, 
So number three is to take care of 301 redirects. To do that, connect to your website via FTP. If this is your first time using an FTP to connect to your website, I put a link on how to set up an FTP account on the description area. All right, so let's continue. Once a connection has been established, locate the folder containing your WordPress files. Since I'll be working on my subdomain, I will look for my subdomains folder. So I'll be working on my subdomain shop demo 4fixrunnertestcom So here it is. If you'll be doing this in your main domain, what you should be looking for is the public HTML folder, which is this one. Just follow all the steps here. It should all be the same. So I'll double click on my subdomain folder because that is what I'll be working on. In this folder, scroll down and locate the .htaccess files. Right click, then click View Edit. On opening the file, add the following code. By the way, this code is on the description below, so kindly check that out. All right, let's continue. Scroll all the way till the end and paste this code. Once done, save and close the file. Click Yes. Now I'll go to my website and hit Refresh, and let's see if my website is on HTTPS or with the lock icon. So I'll hit Refresh. Congratulations, you have now moved your website from HTTP to HTTPS. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.